Okay, we're graphing absolute value graphs right now. And we are going to put this into y equals. So everybody hit y equals. Clear out any old stuff that you have. And now I want the absolute value of x plus 2. In order to ask the calculator to do absolute value, we need to push the following button. Underneath your alpha key, which is green, there's a button that says math on it. You want to hit that math button. And then once you hit math, you're going to, across the top, there's these tabs, math, num, CPX, PRB. You want to tab over just one time to number. The very first option says ABS. That stands for absolute value. So we're going to go ahead and choose number one. On the black calculators, it might look a little bit different. It might say ABS with the parentheses. It's the same thing. Whatever you're putting in the parentheses on the black calculators, that's what's going to go in your absolute value bars. In the yellow, I actually didn't even know that they had absolute value bars, but they have the actual bars. So let's just type in X plus 2. X plus 2. So if you have a black calculator, after you type in x plus 2, you want to close the parentheses. So it's the button above the number 9. Oh, uh, whoops. Thanks. I want x plus 2. If you're in a yellow calculator, to get out of the absolute value, because see how I have to now I have to put the plus 1, and that's not in the absolute value brackets. So now you're just going to use your right arrow key to get out of it. So make sure that you're out of the absolute value. Or if you have a black calculator, Anything you want in the absolute value bars has to be in between the parentheses. So close your parentheses after you type x plus 2. And then outside of it, I type plus 1. So if you have a black calculator, I'm just going to write what it looks like here. You would have, uh, after the equal sign, it'll say a, b, s, parentheses. And then you would have x plus 2 close your parenthesis and then do plus one. So that's the same thing as what this is on the yellow calculator. Okay, so now it's in. I can go ahead and hit graph and let's see if we can see the whole thing. Oh, I can. Now, I also ask you to find the vertex. So I want you to find that little point right there. So, there's a way to do this. Is this the lowest, that point right there, is it the lowest point on the whole graph or the highest? The lowest. It's the lowest this graph ever gets. If the graph had been upside down, so if it looked like this, the vertex would have been the highest point in the whole graph, right? You know what I'm saying? So this, in hours, it's the lowest point that I'm looking for in the whole graph, also called a minimum. This one would be called a maximum. Okay, so minimum would be the lowest point, maximum, highest point. I want to find the lowest point on this whole graph, also known as the minimum. So, have you seen the word minimum on one of our menus before? If you hit second calc again, you'll see there's both minimum and maximum. So you need to make sure before you click this which one you need. We need the minimum because I'm looking for the lowest point on my whole graph. So I'm going to choose choice three. And then it does this same left bound, right bound stuff. So basically it's saying, put me to the left of the lowest point right now. So move your blinky guy all the way, put him to the left of the lowest point, hit enter. Now it's saying, okay, put me to the right of the lowest point. So I hit the right arrow key a bunch of times. I'm still going to have those two dark arrows pointing towards each other. And the lowest point is going to be somewhere in between those two arrows. When it says guess, you just hit enter again. And there is my minimum point. When you get something like this, see how yours might have just come out with a one. Mine didn't. I have one and then a whole bunch of zeros and a three. You can just call that one. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay.